so here in computational class there are two variants majorly there are quite a few but we as a program for programming these two are enough so one one variant is binary next one is packed decimal in binary means so this is for numeric okay all these are numeric for alphanumeric usage is always display one character one byte for numeric there are different usage classes one is usage display next one is binary third one is packed decimal these three are used in i mean application programming so in usage display one character equal to one byte in binary so it is going to store in binary format zero and one a number whichever is stored is being converted to binary and stored in the form of zero and ones in pack decimal every number is going to occupy half byte and sign also half byte okay sign also half byte but why why do we need to have <coughs> computational usage classes let me tell about that so see we are writing a i mean program using cobol cobol is a high level language okay high level language machine doesn't understand machine has to convert this to a low level language which machine can understand okay when you compile it is going to check for syntax errors and then finally convert into a language that machine understands so it is going to be converting into a machine level language <coughs> for okay for example and since everything is being converted to machine level language i mean that so for example if you take a number say a 9 of 3 value 1 2 3 how many bytes it is going to occupy 3 bytes 3 bytes 3 bytes and it's going to store 1 2 3 <laughs> and we can see we can if you display you can see every character is one byte so it's a usage display because there is no nothing given after this by default it is usage display even if you don't give it's a usage display so when you when you have a for example when you add 1 to a so a a is going to become 124 so when you add when you do any arithmetic expression like add subtract multiply divide or compute so what happens this is being converted into machine level language and then finally calculated and then re- reconverted to I mean from usage display it is being converted to a computational format and then it it does the computation and then convert the computational format to usage display so there's a conversion happening display to computational format calculation and then after calculation is done it's from computational format it's being converted to display format by the system so it takes some extra time for converting display to computational format and again reconverting computational format to display so this extra time can be avoided if you define the variable as either binary or packed decimal okay if you define the variable as binary or packed decimal if you define the variable as binary or packed decimal this conversion unnecessary conversion is not necessary and the arithmetic expressions are going to work little bit faster okay little bit faster and in projects we widely use packed decimal not only widely use it is standard in almost all the companies to use packed decimal because any arithmetic expression using usage display class will be little slower when compared to packed decimal so if you have many calculations in your program and if you have all usage display it is going to be much slower so if we not increase the performance what we do we define the variables <coughs> pack decimal okay when i define a variable as pack decimal the way it stores is different but the data is not going to be changed so always remember <coughs> the way it stores is different but data is not going to undergo any change so here okay let's uh, for, suppose how many bytes this will occupy s yes, 9 of 3 value 123 how much signed variable s9 of 3 means how many bytes 3 bytes 
again three bytes because sign is stored on the last byte. For example, like this, one twenty-three, and sign will be stored here on top of it. Okay, you would have seen this symbol, braces, open I mean open brace, close brace when you when you wrote the edit character, right? You would have displayed number before and after of change, and the last byte would have been that will be symbol. So what happens? Sign will be superimposed on the last digit. So sign is not going to undergo specific. I mean, not going to take separate storage. But there is a way to take, make it to take separate storage. We have something called sign leading separate, which is never used in projects. So I am just ignoring for want of time also. So this is the so this is storage. But again, this is the usage display. So now let me tell about how to define a computational field. It's very easy. It's very, it's very easy. For example, pick nine of three. Okay, so nine of three. We'll keep this itself. One twenty-three. This is usage display. Pick nine of three. First, let me say, say tell about pack decimal. Nine of three. Uh, okay, okay. We have to give usage class immediately after picture class. We have to give comp three. This is comp three. This is just comp. It's called comp. This is comp three. Usage comp. Usage comp three. Comp three value one twenty three. See if you write comp three, it means the the way it stores is going to be changed. Okay, the way it stores is going to be changed. I'll make it a sign one two three. Okay, how many bytes? This one first one will occupy three bytes. Three bytes. How many bytes? Second is going to occupy one and a half bytes. Sorry. One and a half. <laughs> See, there is nothing called one and a half. Half byte is everything is whole number. Four bytes. Two bytes. Two bytes. Two bytes. How do you, how it is two bytes? Half byte is uh, another half byte is uh, every number half byte. So okay. every number half byte. Sign half byte. You can see. I've given here already. Every number half byte. There are three numbers. Sign half byte. So totally two bytes. Okay, totally two bytes. It's going to store like this. Okay, store going to store in double hexadecimal in two bytes. And there's a formula also for this. It's n plus one by two. N denotes number of nines. Number of number of integer. N denotes number of. I mean, number of we have to say places, right? Or number of. Nines before and after decimal. This plus one is for sign. Okay, this plus half is for sign. So this is a formula which is used, and uh, definitely tomorrow you'll be. I'll be asking one question on this, and it's an interview question also. And if you go to project, everything will be. Uh, I mean, declared in COM three. Okay. Since since it's COM three, the computation is going to be much faster, and the way it stores is also going to be changed different because every decimal is going to get stored in half byte. Like I will also tell you, I will also show you how it stores. Okay, after some time, but understand every by number is going to store half byte. Even sign also going to get store half byte. If you give sign or not, it doesn't matter. Okay, we, even if it's an unsigned variable. It is going to allocate half byte per sign. Okay, it's going to allocate half byte per sign. The formula never changes. Okay, and uh, suppose zero one a pick s nine of five v nine of two com three. How how much how many bytes it is going to occupy? S nine of five. V nine of two com three. Four bytes. Four bytes. Four bytes. 
All right, okay, two. Spikes. So there is no half byte, it's going to, you have to circle, you have to approximate, round it off. Six bytes. Six bytes. Six bytes. Six bytes. So ten, 10 plus 1 by 2 is 11 by 2, 5 point 5, so 6. Six bytes. Okay, so suppose I, I told you uh, this cannot only uh, usage display means you can see you can see with the naked eye and we, if you if it display in spool all computational you cannot see in spool then if you want to display this value how will you display this value? See if you display one two three it will show but sign will be superimposed if you if you, if you they display this one two three it will not show properly. How to display this? How to display this value? You already know. Z. Yes, you have to edit the character. Edit the numerics. Okay. And computational field should always be editor before displaying or writing to a report or writing showing in a screen. Unless you edit, it, will not, it is not going to show. Okay, but this display, usage display class, you can display directly. If it's an unsigned variable, if it's signed also, you cannot display, you'll get confused after displaying. If it's unsigned, you can display. Otherwise, better to edit and display. And this one, always you need to edit and display. So I'll just repeat, numeric variables will be stored in two different formats, display and computational. In computational, we use binary and packed decimal. and uh, in packed decimal it's going to every number and every and sign is going to occupy half byte so that's the formula n plus one by two n denotes number of nines before and after decimal point and in projects we store everything in com3 any project take any project if you go to any company they use only com3 because doing uh, arithmetic expression using com3 is going to be much much faster when compared to just use a display class and that's the reason. If you go to banks or insurance companies also, you are going to work in insurance project. If everything will be in COM3 because there is a lot of calculations. If you have, I mean, you say display, still it is going to work. One thing is it's going to be very slow. Okay, it'll be, it's going to be very slow. Not very slow, you can say milliseconds. I've seen, actually I was a performance consultant, okay, for some companies before. So I, I can, I, I've just reduced well, we, even re reduction of 20 seconds also is a big thing. Okay, plenty of I have reduced. Do done a lot of performance initiatives where a, a, a program of job which runs for one minute, I, I would have brought down for till 40 seconds, and a job which runs for 40 minutes, we can have brought down to 20 minutes. That is a big difference. Even one minute also I have brought down to 40 seconds and 25 seconds. All these small small thing is going to make a big difference. So many, many are unaware about this. That is the reason people write inefficient code. Once you get into project, you will know. So usage display usage pack decimal. So in pack decimal, we cannot have half byte. So you have to round it off. Okay, we have to round it off. And remember, since you are going to round it off, we we never give pack decimal in even number. So you told six bytes, right? You told S nine of eight, B nine of two is going to occupy six bytes. But actually, which how many bytes are used? Five bytes for storing numbers and half byte for storing sign. So remaining half byte is wasted, right? So that is the reason we always give the combination of these two will always be an odd number. If you go to projects, the combination of this will be odd numbers always. Okay, S9 of 7, S9 of 9. B9 of 2. You could you would, you would also see if you are since you are in insurance, you can see up to 9 of 4 also. Com 3. Normally we don't go beyond 4 decimals. Then finally we round it up to 9 of 2. 
doing during calculations everything will be nine of four so we keep this uh, number as a odd number so that the st- storage is properly utilized and we are not wasting any byte so this is very important you'll be using only com3 in projects but com3 cannot be displayed if you display you cannot see it will it will show as a blank in order to display you have to make sure you edit the variable suppose if it's yes 9 of 7 suppose you have you're having something called yes 9 of 2 5 v9 of 2 com3 What will be the edit picture class? Can you guys just tell me edit picture class? First you don't give command, don't give comma, comma you can put later. First you tell me number of z, number of nines and then sign, then you put comma. We can put, for v we can put dot. How many z before this dot, how many z after dot? 4 z 9. See, this also is fine. This also is fine. So, if for example, if this has zero, if you move a value zero, what will be shown in shown to the user? Blank. Blank. If but if you move zero to this, what will be shown? Zero. Zero point zero zero. Okay, so when you see um, um, Americans, uh, most of Americans don't have the pro- proper brains, that's why its projects are being outsourced to other countries. What happens? I've seen, for example, say a report 1000.00, 900.00, 200.50, something a report. Suppose we have a, two zeros here, there'll be blank lines here. Okay, in a report, if you see a report, if you create a report, if there are two zeros for two lines, there are six lines, some, some lines, and here there will be, if you have like this as picture class, it will show blank, then what user will think, something has gone wrong. You understand, suppose Amazon is giving free, okay, Amazon is giving a product for free for all the customers, say one mask free. And if you go, go I mean, and when you go get into the checkout, if it shows blank, what will you think? You'll get confused, right? You get confused as the user or not? In the price, it sh- if it shows full blank, or if the price, when you'll be, which is better, this one or this one? When you're when you're checking out, which one is better? First one is better, right? Yes. So this full full blank will confuse the user. That is the reason we never use this. We keep at least this unit digit and decimal as nine, so that if the if you move a value of zero, it gives zero point zero zero. So that user doesn't get confused. Otherwise, they think something went wrong. Okay. So we, for every nine, we have one z. Have unit digit always nine. Decimal always keep nine. Don't keep, but you can keep everything Z also. And then you can insert comma wherever you want. And since you have sign, just put plus or minus at the end. Okay, but minus is widely used. Minus means it is going to show negative if it's a uh, minus, I mean, it's going to show minus when it's negative. If it's positive, it is not going to, sh- it is going to show blank. So this is a picture class. So COM3 cannot be seen with the naked eye. You have to make sure you move to a proper picture class, edit picture class and then write into your report or it show in a screen. Now let's look at pack bin binary. So in binary, we have only three uh, variants. Okay, I'll just directly tell. So A. So we give comp. If you give just comp, it means binary. Or we can write usage binary. Usage comp. Usage binary. See, there are many ways of writing. It depends on the user, their understanding of the language. But this is the widely used. 
Some people will write usage comp. Some people write usage binary. But widely used is just comp. If you write comp3, it's packed decimal. If you just write comp, it's like it's it's going to store the number in the form of 0 and 1. What happens if you if you have a number that decimal will be converted into binary and then store? Okay, the form of 0 and 1. For example, okay, value 123. How many bytes? are required to store what is the equivalent of 123 in binary so it requires calculator so let us bring calculator 123 right so this okay this is seven dollars one twenty three Okay, there are here there are three variants I'll tell you how it how we uh, uh, how it was developed so what is it how many number of nines you can have the maximum number of nines 18 sir 18 so these are the three different uh, ranges of binary so so 9 to 9 of 4 it is going to occupy two bytes 9 of 5 to 9 of 9 it could be a signed or unsigned no issues Four, 4 bytes so this is important ok remember you have to remember this forever till you work in mainframe so 9 to 1 digit 1 9 to 9 of 4 is going to be 2 bytes and 9 of 5 to 9 of 9 is going to be 4 bytes 9 of 10 to 9 of 18 8 bytes so this is how it's going to store like in back decimal every digit is going to store half half byte take half byte and sign is half byte here from 9 to 9 of 4 it could be 9 of uh, it could have decimal points also no issues okay it could have decimal point but generally it will be integer it will be integer it be it can be signed or unsigned but usually it is signed so but we we don't use binary we use one system is going to use system is going to define system variables in binary format because binary storing data in a binary format is much more quicker okay and uh, usually in project in uh, mainframe the system uses binary and for programming we use uh, com3 so do, do you know any variable which system stores by itself which system defines and stores can you think of any variable Can you think of any variable which system defines by itself and stores? Yesterday we saw one. Index space, sir. What space? Index. It's, that's good. Index. Yesterday we created index by month index, employee index, right? Who defined that variable? System. System uses binary, binary format. Okay, let's let's take S9 of 4 comp. So what is the maximum number you can write in say S9 of 4 usage class display? 9999. Four lines. But in binary, it's going to be such something different. 9 of 4 means how many bytes? 2 bytes. Let's bring this again. If I write 9999, 
how many bytes it occupies can you just see see the binary two bytes two bytes right decimal is converted to binary so if it's two bytes in two bytes what is the maximum binary number you can store two what 11 11 which 11 in 2 bytes binary what is the maximum number you can store 9 sir 9 111 111 this is the maximum number you can store in 2 bytes see 2 bytes means how many bits 16 bits in 16 bits one bit is used for storing sign the last bit i mean the first bit first and foremost the uh, if the first first bit is zero it means it's a positive sign the first bit is minus it means it's a negative sign okay if it's minus mean i mean sorry if it's one means it's a negative sign the first bit is used for storing sign which called most significant bit okay it's called most significant bit in a two byte binary we can we are having 16 bits the maximum number you can store in 16 bits is what 15 ones 15 ones in decimal is 32767 so the maximum number you can store the maximum number you can store in this s9 of four comp is what 32767 and minimum number is going to be minus 32 Seven six eight. So this is a range. You have to just think, understand how it works, because I mean how we got this number. Nine of four means it is going to occupy two byte. So in two bytes, what is the maximum number you can store in binary? Thirty two k and min. And what is the minimum number you can store? Minus thirty two seven thousand seven sixty eight. So this is for only for binary. Binary means. We we don't bother about number of lines. We bother about number of bytes, and we and every byte bit is one means it's a maximum number you can store in that. Similarly, in four bytes you can just come out with what the what is the number. But this number you have to remember in projects that's enough. And thirty two k is most used. Okay, thirty two k is always used. If it's two bytes, thirty two k. If it's one byte, two fifty six something like this. Two fifty five. So it's two power fifteen, I think. Two power fifteen minus one. So you would have learnt all these in college mathematics, but you might not have learnt properly. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. So here, a number can be stored in binary or com com I mean com three, pack decimal. In com three, every digit is going to occupy one byte, a half byte, and decimal also. Sorry, sign also half byte. As far as binary is concerned. So we are having two, three different storage: two, four, and eight bytes. So up to nine of four, it's going to be two bytes. Nine of five to nine of nine, four bytes. Nine of ten to nine of eighteen, eight bytes. And the maximum number is going to be different, not the number which you know for a usage display, because here the numbers are going to be converted into binary and store. Just take a screenshot. This is uh, quite important as far as binary is concerned.